Shalom, when the soul of souls begin no praise to hell, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Kaal Kadash, that alone is supposed to be great, most and honest to brothers doing the work of the most and truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the Lord Aegon calls God Jehovah or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, his son's true name is Yahweh Shai, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar meaning in, Her meaning that, and Sham meaning names, Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai. So as promised, um, you know, yesterday in a video that I was doing, wanted to, uh, there was a point that I was making that, but I'd forgotten the, the, the details of it. So I said I was going to just, you know, get some information on these nuclear tests that this man uh, has done throughout the world, right? I was gonna, it's mainly just going to be, you know, articles and information. We'll see where the spirit leads, right? So this first one's from Al Jazeera. This was uh, the 29th of August, 2022, right? It says, and for graphic, the impact of nuclear tests around the world so, right so since 1945 more than 2000 nuclear test explosions have been conducted by at least eight nations right um goes on to say that uh less than a month later, uh, so yeah so it goes on on june's july 16th 1945 during world war Two, right the united states detonated the world's first nuclear weapon codenamed trinity over the new mexico desert less than a month later i believe this other article says it was three weeks um, three weeks later, right, <clears throat> they, um, uh, 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 would you call it, so less than a month, they, they basically, the U.S. dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing more than 100,000 people instantly, right, thousands more died from their injuries, radiation, sickness, and cancer in the years that followed, bringing the toll close to 200,000, um, which, as, as we always say, it's, it's going to be significantly more than that, right, because, <clears throat> part of this man you know, making himself seem like some kind of saint is, you know, he always tries to minimize the damage that he's done whilst maximizing the damage that anyone else has done, right? Which all damage the Lord sees, right? And uh, and the Lord will uh, require, right? This is according to U.S. Department of Energy's history of the Manhattan Project, right? So if it, how how can you go to the criminal uh, for the evidence, right? Here it is, and you got a criminal. He's he's you know he's, uh, you know he's 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 the only one with the evidence, right? He's committed bare murders. You ask him how many people you killed, he will tell you one. But these times he's a mass murderer, killed a hundred people, right? So that's what these devils do. They always uh, you know un underestimate, right? Not even estimate, but they always lie about how many people, um, it is you know die in conflicts that they're related to. Right, it says Psalms 58 from 3, right, it says the wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, right, so that's all this man is able to do, he's, he's, he's a liar, the father of it, okay, um, so go ahead and continue on, it says nine countries possessed roughly 12,700 warheads as of early 2022, according to the Federation of American Scientists, approximately 90% are owned by Russia um, and the U.S., <clears throat> right and you know they they give this number but you know we're you know sure that's going to be significantly higher than that right because another thing about war is you don't let the enemy know uh you know what, what your best weaponry is okay because then you know you're able to but then on, on the one hand you don't want to make yourself look weak but on the other hand you don't want that enemy to know what your best weaponry what your strongest hand is until you have to use it Right, just look what's happened over there in the Ukraine with the Patriot missile system, right? Where they basically shot, um, I think it was like thirty-one uh, uh, missiles, right, at, at a two million dollar um, uh, kin Russian Kinzhal uh, uh, hypersonic weapon, right? But each of those thirty-one Patriot missile weapons were three million each. So it was like ninety, you know, over ninety million pounds of weapons to try and stop a two million. Uh, you know, uh, ninety-one million dollars to try and stop a two million dollar uh, a missile. You know, and that missile then destroyed the Patriot missile uh, system, right? Which you know, all in all, you know, however much that costs. But then, what does that say to the rest of the world that has invested in the Patriot missile system? They, they, they're like, yo, th this system don't work, right? Because we understand the precepts say this. Um, I forget exactly what. Thousand. See if I can find it this way. Um. 
oh, this slug is right there, right? This is um, uh, uh, Revelation 9, 16, right? And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand, and I heard the number of them, right? Um, and that's the, the horsemen, ICBMs, right? And that's 200 million warheads, right? That we, you know, that we know is going to touch on the land of America, okay? So we know it's significantly higher than this number. Once again, you don't let the enemy know uh, exactly, you know, what your, what your arsenal is, right? It says, at its peak in 1986, the two rivals had nearly 65,000 nuclear warheads between them making the nuclear arms race one of the most threatening events of the Cold War. While the while Russia and the US have dismantled thousands of warheads, several countries are thought to be increasing their stockpiles, notably China. Right, so now you mean to tell me since nineteen eighty six that, you know, these two countries have genuinely cut you know, fifty have gotten rid of fifty five a uh, thousand warheads. You know, what's more likely, right? That actually they have increased the number of warheads. Okay, because that is in the name in their nature, right? And that is what the Lord has, uh, what you call it, given to this man, right? His Revelation six and four, saying they went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there and to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword, and that great sword is this nuclear technology, right? This nuclear weaponry that you know he goes around, you know, batting the whole world with, right? That is in his nature. You can read, you know, that in uh, Genesis twenty uh, seventh chapter, right, where it speaks about the blessing that was given to Esau, right, that he, you know, that he by thy sword shalt thou live. Okay, so he 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 doesn't turn away from blood, right? He enjoys blood, right? So this idea that they've somehow gotten rid of fifty five nuclear warheads between them and not increased that since nineteen eighty six is preposterous. Okay, it is not in their nature to. Uh, uh, you know, to be peaceful, right? Just grab that rule. Okay, this is um, Jeremiah thirteen twenty three. It says, "Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may you do. Then may you also do good that are accustomed to do evil, right? Now these um, what do you call it? These these uh, these these uh, devils, right? They can do nothing but wickedness. Right? That's that's all they're known for, right? <clears throat> um." And, and and blood is part of that as well. So while Russia and the US, blah, there goes and yeah, I read that the only country to voluntarily quote unquote relinquish um nuclear weapons is South Africa, right? Um, allegedly, right? Uh, so yeah, you know they they'll have us believe that it's only uh, twelve thousand seven hundred between them, right? And goes on to you know which countries have carried out nuclear tests. <coughs> There's at least eight countries have carried out a total of 2,000 nuclear tests since 1945. Right, the US has conducted half of all nuclear tests with 10, 1,030 tests between 45 and 92. Right, in 54, the US exploded its largest nuclear we a weapon, a 15 megaton bomb, on the surface of the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. The test was codenamed Castle Bravo. So the power of the nuclear test was miscalculated by science scientists and it resulted in radiation contamination that impacted inhabitants of the atolls the nuclear fallout the explosion is said to have spread over uh, 18,000 kilometers 7,000 square miles or uh, 18,000 square kilometers 7,000 square miles since the soviet union carried out the second highest number of nuclear tests at 715 between 49 and 90 says the us's our first nuclear test was on August 29th, 1949, the test codename RDS-1 was conducted at the yada yada yada, right? Um, it says with devastating consequence for the local population, such as genetic defects and high cancer rates, right? Because, you know, th this man is playing with stuff he, he doesn't really understand. Now, ultimately, this is all part of the curse of the Most High, right? But this, you know, when you just look at it, right, this man is playing with things that he truly doesn't understand, Okay. Here it is, he's dropping these nuclear weapons and people are, are, are getting sick and dropping dead. Hey, when you when you look at the case of depleted uranium shells that he's given to either Ukraine or, you know, that war, he gave to his own soldiers during either Afghanistan or, or the Iraq war, right? He gave his own soldiers depleted uranium uh, 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 shells, right? And what did they do? They, 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 they made their own soldiers sick, right? 
But that's what the scripture says that he is as death and cannot be satisfied. Okay. Um, was, uh, so, uh, so North Korea is the most recent nation to carry out a nuclear test in 2017. That sixth and most powerful bomb was detonated in the Pyongyang. Um, a nuclear test site, the underground explosion created a magnitude 6-3 tremor. Okay. Um, so the largest, largest nuclear explosion occurred in 61 when the Soviet Union exploded the Tsar bomber on Novaya Zemla, north of the uh, Arctic Circle. Right, and you, you can actually... Um, I watch the there's a video of this they declassified this either last year or the year before right where they declassified where Russia declassified the Tsar bomber right let me see if I can find that real quick um Tsar bomber footage yeah if you literally just uh, look, look up on the YouTube um Tsar bomber T S A R B O M B A uh footage right you'll be able to you know see Right, um, you know what what they did, and one of the things that they say, right, was you know they basically not not in the same way, you know they kind of say it differently, um, but they basically quote this preset, right? This is Joel, um, two and three, right? Um, it says, uh, a fire devoureth, but but I'll read into it. Right, and verse 2, um, verse 1, it says, Blow you the trumpet in Zion, sign an alarm on the holy mountain, that all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is night at hand, the day of darkness and of gloomness, the day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath never been ever the like, neither shall there uh, be any more after it, even to the years of many generations, right, which is talking about the ICBMs. This is a fire devoureth before them, but and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Right. Uh, so yeah, and, and and that's the point. That's he, he the 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 person that was on the site basically quotes this. He didn't. Once again, he's not saying it in the same way. It's not like he's quoting scripture, but it's what he says. You know, amounts to this precept. Right. You know, the the, the land was the landscape was completely changed. Okay, um, and that's what that's going into, right? Uh, it says the ex uh, so back to the article from Al Jazeera says the explosion yield was fifty megatons, three thousand three hundred times more powerful than the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima, right? Um, it goes into other stuff, right? Um, so nuclear test sites, nuclear weapons have been tested all over the world. On February thirteenth, nineteen sixty, France carried out its first nuclear test. Um, in the Sahara Desert, which was occupying, right? Because that's, that's where, where these, um, uh, you know, that's what these devils do. You just go around and occupy, right? Um, so the impact of different levels of radiation. Nuclear testing has immediate and long-term effects caused by radiation, radioactive fallout. Increased rates of cancer have been associated with nuclear testing, which studies show, with studies showing that thyroid cancer is linked to radionuclides, Right? So after a nuclear test, large areas of land remain radioactive for decades after the test. The help impact of different levels of radiation varies from nausea and vomiting to death within days, right? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, you know, what I wanted from here. Uh, this article, I think, is actually pretty much covered in this one, so I won't go into it. But then this was the thing that I was uh, thinking about yesterday in the video that I was doing, right? This is uh, from the Smith Mo Miss Smithsonian Magazine. Right, it says Cold War nuclear bomb tests are helping researchers identify art forgeries. Right, so trace of carbon fourteen isotopes re released by nuclear testing enables scientists to to date paintings created post World War Two. Right, so I won't um you know I won't read into it, but you know that's that's the whole point. The the fact that these devils were going around just dropping you know these these nuclear weapons you know all over the world, all over the globe. Right, what ended up happening was that radiation got into everything. Right, it got into um, uh, I forget the fabric, the the basically what they get, but basically it went into the fibers that make the canvas. Right, it went into all of these different things. So then they're able to say, wait, there, this has this much, um, you know, radiation in it. Therefore, this was from this period of time, right? 
So once again, what's what's what was this showing you that this man is the devil, right? Because if it's in the artwork, guess what? It's in everything, right? And that's why ultimately the Lord is coming to take this man out of rulership, take this man out of power, right? Because of of of, of the death, the destruction that this man uh, has brought upon this world, right? You know, or, you know, when you, you can look in the precepts, right? Isaiah twenty four and five, Revelation eleven eighteen, right? But that's why we, you know, we we, we can't wait for the most to come and to, and to you know clean this place up, man. To to take this man out of power, to clean this place up. Right, so I said mostly, mostly information. This one, a few precepts, but um, yeah, man, this man's got to go, right? After the Lord uses him to 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 to, to um, you know, all these heathens uses all these heathens to destroy America. That'll be the last time, you know. In fact, I'll, I'll close on it. That'll be the last time, right? War, um, you know, will, will, will be seen by right? these these weapons of war, right? as Isaiah two from two. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of your house house shall be established in the top of the mountains, right? So that's referring to mountains referring to governments, right? Um, example being when you have, um, you know, for instance, the G7 are meeting right now. That's the G7 summit, right? It says, and shall be exalted above the hills, which are smaller nations, right? And all nations shall flow unto it. It says, and many people shall go and say, come ye, let us go to the mountain of the house, mountain of, of, of Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob, and will teach us of his ways and will walk in his path. For our Zion shall go forth the law, the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. So the you know, people are going to be coming up to the children of Israel to be like, yo, hey, what's up? Because like, we're going to be for all righteous, right? And they're going to see that our way is the better way, right? And they're going to, you know, ha ha have history, of the way that life was lived on the east one they're gonna be like look man that weren't the right way <laughs> right so it says um uh, for the house zion shall go for the lord yeah, i read that bit right so verse four says and he shall judge among the nations and shall be many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks and they shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore right so that's basically saying there ain't gonna be no more uh, uh, you know, weaponry, right? All of that's just, they're just going to be agriculture. China ain't going to be no super. These mobites ain't going to be no superpower, right? With nuclear weapons. They're going to go back to, you know, a, a rice farming and paddy farming and shit, right? It says, um, uh, yeah, and then that's, but that's the point. Neither shall, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn any war because there ain't going to be no war in the kingdom of Israel, right? Now we understand scripture says have any any parrot has ever any perish being innocent, right? So we understand that when someone drops dead, when someone it's because the Lord required their soul, right? For whatever for whatever reason, right? Now when um would you call it when 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 but 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 when you look at what's happening with these wars, right, it's just senseless death. It's just senseless death, right? Now, once again, got a caveat that, and I'm, you know, with the understanding that ultimately the Lord sanctioned it, but yeah, I mean, it ain't gonna be none of this. Just uh, hundreds and millions of people just dropping dead in one day because of nuclear weapons. That that ain't gonna be they, it, that that ends the day America's destroyed. Okay, so as always, laws that I was end the fine. Till next time, we say shalom.